All right, so uh, this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and as well a Aquarius Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading March 2nd to March 8th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can, uh, you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So moving to the uh, spread straight away to the reading here, we do have the Ace of Swords for you for the very topic and the theme of the week. Afterwards, we do have uh, the um, energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. That will be the Two of Wands. Afterwards is going to be the challenges that you will have to face and uh, we do have the lovers of that position. So uh, just from those three cards uh, here, Aquarius, you do have a major decision to take on throughout this particular week. Uh, afterwards, uh, that, we do, that will be the gifts and the blessings that uh, you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the strength card, a fantastic one in, case, in this particular follow-up here in this narrative. Um, actually, you couldn't, you could have not hoped for a better. Moving next, it is uh, the how people are going to take on you, how people are going to look at you. That is going to be the Two of Pentacles. And uh, the last one that we do have, it is the guidance the Tower is offering. Uh, we have the Six of Pentacles. A uh, pretty straightforward one. So what happens throughout that week for you, um, from the energies of the Two of Wands, um, that nagging feeling within you for that you can accomplish so much more than this, either career-wise or either relationship-wise, is going to start pushing from within you. And uh, that will make you kind of like a make, uh, let's say, critical assessment um, in a hope to acquire an, an accurate diagnosis of what's where you're finding yourself right now in terms of career and relationship and how far you can be or how more how much more you can be in terms of a career and relationship that itself uh, guys is going to boost your confidence so much more it's going to strengthen your spirit as well and your intellectual potential in terms of um, following your agenda you know not being able to be talked out of a certain things that uh, you could have not imagined that you do kind of possess the, such kind of strength if you will and that itself throughout the week is going to push you into making a certain actions and if you will decisions that under normal circumstances you wouldn't dare doing it so but this time around you will kind of find the right arguments for yourself that is if you will the right excuses for yourself to uh, do it so now the week itself it is just the the first impulse okay it's not like um, it's going to happen through the night uh, or, or yeah over one night here throughout this week it is more like you are researching and reconnoitering where and whom with you can be more happier or how you can be more happier where you can be more successful or how you can be more successful as well because with those two cards what they what their literal translation is that first you are sitting on a good foundation okay that's there is no question about it but also they are pointing that you alone are not realizing your full potential and that is yet to happen throughout this week and once you do it once you do realize your true potential you will start looking around for where that true potential can be unfold because obviously at some places you can do just so much example if your if your current job does not offer you any place moving forward or you have reached the maximum in there well maybe that's not the place where you are unfolding your potential however the decision should you go for that feeling meaning you know doing the necessary adaptations to unfold your potential or you will stay at the same place well that entirely depends on you which comes the next card and that is to be the lovers the challenge and the challenge is to make a decision what to do from now on or what to do based on this realization because the lovers in that particular um, case it is the choice and it's not much of a challenge but it's not much of a choice either because with the lovers card 
there is no right or wrong decision okay uh, it is just uh, wh whatever you decide you will have to face or live with the consequences of the decision non taken uh, that is a bit difficult to be explained uh, the example I like to give in this case is with the lover's card it is two jobs one you love to do but not well paid one you hate to do but it is very well paid which one you're gonna go for okay you can't have both you you cannot so you gotta decide are you gonna work what you love but you're gonna struggle financially or are you going to be well financially but waking waking up every morning hating that you gotta go to work okay so that is a decision that you have to make and there is no right or wrong one you just have to live with the circumstances of the one that you have not taken meaning that you have to work the job you hate or you have to live in financial struggle for at least a, a little while longer and uh, that will be the challenge now important thing here is that making no decision whatsoever it's not an option I, I mean there will be no option of making no decision even if you decide to stay at that place it is a decision that you will have to make so most likely you are to be confronted throughout the week either through circumstances or through someone else that you will have to make up your mind about a, a very very important endeavor or an enterprise and that um, itself uh, leads us to the next one here which uh, stands for the gifts and the blessings and i said that you cannot have better than this one because for what it seems nobody nobody is going to interfere first of all with whatever decision you make so nobody is going to push you in this and that direction saying uh, intimidating you tempting you you know or blackmailing you in any way additionally to that the strength here points as well that you do have as much time as you need okay you're not going to pressure through it because uh from it excuse me because the strength represents a perseverance through a patient so you can take your time as much as you like you can stretch it even beyond this week what i said is that this week it is the foundation of it but it can stretch for a month couple of months years as long as you need to stretch it uh here with the strength but what is important with the strength is not to go to extreme I like uh, being over aggressive or being completely inactive as well uh, adopting more like a balanced position is gonna uh, how can I place it is going to uh, give the best results at least at that particular stage uh, just for an example show interest but do not show that you are gonna die for it okay and that way uh, the person or the company that wants your attention or that wants your uh, qualities will do more to attract you or at least it is gonna show how much they want you around either a person situation or once again a, uh, a company but the strength it's uh, it's a very good card here because the very least it does point to a content you are going to be quite pleased with what kind of um, options are opening in front of you not to mention that the realization of unfound potential that you are going to discover within you within your um, qualification capabilities uh, mental strengths as well and so on and so forth uh, now next one here it is how people are going to look at you what kind of impression you're going to give into the people around two of pentacles so um it's not very positive one but that is going to be faced with an understanding what i mean it is that this week people are going to be a bit withdrawn from you because they're not going to find you reliable why because you do have a decision to make and as you have not made your mind yet they don't know what why they do not know what to expect so people are going to see you very um i don't know if adaptable it, it is even the word that i have to use here it is like a uh and it is not indecisive i mean they know that you have to take your time it is just unpredictable was the word that i was searching for okay so people are going to see you very unpredictable concepts that you had before that you held to very strongly now are kind of start seeming outdated now now you don't you you no longer hold yourself to that ground as you are discovering new grounds 
to uh, conquer, okay? Rules that you have previously followed on your own accord, that is, are no longer in place or they are start to weakening, not to mention that the Two of Pentacles points that people are going to see you very adaptive once again that you are taking on different small opportunities you know here and there and fitting them well into your daily schedule into your routine and that will give them a second guess you know how much they have underestimated you up until this moment and now they are just going to observe you and wait to see um, how you're going to tackle with this newly presented uh, options available in front of you and the last one here it is uh, the guidance the tarot is offering Cap of guidances three actually excuse me so first of all six of pentacles it is the little brother of the hierophant card what the hierophant card says well it's about hierarchy so the six of pentacles here points that you have reached a, a peak of natural transcendence that you have to now jump into, if you will, the next level where the flow is pushing you toward. You have accomplished a certain stage and now it's time for you to move to the next stage. That's one guidance. So you should not mourn nor should face this new options available with a, a hesitation. It is just the most natural thing that is happening to you. Second, uh, Six of Pentacles. Nobody can make a decision for you, okay? Uh, it is just here you have to face that baffling situation by yourself and at the end of the day make the decision for yourself where this is coming from well look at the picture okay we do have a wealthy man giving a, a change to beggars that saves the day for the beggar right the beggar is gonna buy himself a food probably he will find a shelter but tomorrow the beggar will be a, a beggar once again, while the wealthy man is going to be wealthy once again. So help here through counsel, help through uh, a mutual deliberation, only postpone the inevitable. It does not help you to make a decision. It may ease your baffling for the duration of the, uh, say, you know, uh, conversations and contemplations, but it is not going to make you more decisive in regards to what you have to do or what decision you have to make. And uh, finally, Six of Pentacles is about creativity, okay, um, in a sense of that you have to approach the situation in a sense of that, um, how can I say it, that it can become more than actually it looks like at a first place. So uh, basically your approach should be completely unbiased about what kind of, how productive the unfoldment for you, um, how, how productive the unfoldment for you is going to be. So um, overall Aquarius, it does look like a, a great week in front of you guys, especially if you are completely bored from your life and uh, you just want something to happen well it's gonna happen and it it will have a certain wall factor saying you know oh my god i can do that so guess what you know i'm going to perfectionalize myself into that direction that's just for an, an example but anyway um hopefully you have enjoyed the reading and once again if you are interested in a personal one uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.